Okay, planks, great full body exercise, especially the targeting the core. I'm going to show you a few different variations today. Okay, so we're going to start with a few um, points to remember when you're doing your plank. So if you're either starting on your knees or your toes, you've got to remember to keep your elbows under your shoulders. Your bum down, but not too low, because that'll put pressure on your lower back. So nice and straight. Your abs pulled in tight and you've got to breathe nice and deeply. Okay, try and keep your neck nice and still if you can. Um, obviously, I'm moving mine a little bit to speak to the camera. Okay, so from here, if your lower back feels okay, just take it onto your toes. You'll notice my body position isn't changing much. I'm just on my toes. I'm breathing nice and deeply and my body is nice and straight. Just keep those hips braced and your abs pulled in tight. Okay, nice deep breath. So holding it. Obviously, if you're holding it for too long, it gets really, really boring. So rather than holding it for a really long time, add something into it to just make it a little bit harder. Okay, a little bit more challenging. Okay, so the first um, one we're going to do is stepping out to the side. So you're keeping your body nice and straight and aligned still. Everything in the same position other than your toes that you're tapping out to the side. You're keeping your abs pulled in nice and tight still and remembering to breathe. Good, okay, from there, drop it onto your knees if you want to. You're keeping the same position. You're punching out in front of you. Now, the hard thing is with this one is trying to keep your hips really still. So try and not, not let your hips move much at all. You can also do these on your toes. A little bit more challenging. You should really feel it in your abs when you're doing these ones. Good, keep your hips still, brilliant. Okay, and if at any point you do feel it in your lower back, just bring your bum back onto your heels, have a little bit of a stretch. Breathe deeply. Okay, next variation, we're gonna add a bit of a rotation in. So starting in the same plank position, and you just bring your arm up, stretching out, bring your elbow down again, and onto the side. Good stretch, and twisting. Again, your hips are twisting slightly, but they're not moving much. Your bum's staying down, and your hips aren't dropping. Good, nice bit of a stretch. Excellent. Again, if you're feeling it in your lower back, just pull back onto your bum, onto your heels. It also gives me a little bit of a rest here. Okay, final um, version I'm going to show you is involving your arms and your triceps a little bit more. So starting in plank position, um, what you do is starting on your elbows, push up onto your hands and then back down onto your elbows. Try and position your hands exactly where your elbows were each time. And again, try not to move your hips too much. Keep them nice and still and braced. You can also do this one on your knees. Good. Notice that at no point my bum's going in the air. You're just keeping your hips down, your abs pulled in tight, and I'm breathing all the time too. Okay, we'll go back to your original plank. Hold it there. So for doing a plank, you don't necessarily have to hold plank for hours on end but you can just add something more into it to make it a bit more interesting. That's all for today.